my boys and girls. I want to introduce you to our social studies book. Yes. We will be using this starting today um, and you'll hear different passages read from this book. Uh, it goes over vocabulary words that are important for you to know throughout the chapter. Okay, on other days we will look at other information that goes along with the lesson read from your social studies book. Lesson one. I am a good citizen. Let's take a look at this top picture. Circle someone who is being helpful. Let's look. Hmm, there's more than one person who's being helpful. If you take a close look over here, she's helping her by giving her something. Look what this little girl's doing. Do you think she's being helpful by erasing the board when it's done? Yeah. All right, we're going to look at the word citizen, responsibility, and community. Citizen. A citizen is a person who belongs to a state or a country. Good citizens work to make things better. They help others. They follow rules. These are responsibilities of good citizens. A responsibility is something you should do. Okay. Citizens at school. You can be a good citizen at school. You can help others. You can follow rules. You can work well in groups. Good citizens care about our country. We show this when we say the Pledge of Allegiance. The pledge says we will be true to our country. Okay. So you can be a good citizen not only in your community, but you can be a good citizen at school. Okay, so remember, a citizen is a person who belongs to a state or a country. So we belong to the state of New Jersey, and our country is the United States. And because that's where we live, we're going to work there to make things better for others, okay, and to help others. So you can help others when you're at home or in your community, and you can help others when you're at school. Okay. Being a good citizen means that you are helping others and following rules. Citizens in the community. A community is a place where people live, work, and play. You can be a good citizen in your community. You can follow community rules. You can help do things that help you can do things that help others. You can help keep the community clean. All right, so these kids are being a good citizen in their community. They're picking up roadside litter, or in other words, they're picking up trash. So, because trash is something that is not good for our community or our environment. So they're being responsible by helping the earth, by picking up their community, okay? And again, one of the things that is follows all three pages about being a good citizen um, in at home at school and in our community is by making sure that we are being responsible um, and by making sure that we follow the rules so there's rules in our community that we have to follow and if we're good citizens we follow those rules like not throwing trash on the ground so these kids aren't doing that, but they're picking up the trash. So they're doing things to make our community better. Um, but good citizens follow rules. They wouldn't, um, they wouldn't throw trash on the ground. They wouldn't steal. Um, and they're following the rules of their community. Good citizens at school. So think about at school, how you can help others. Um, at school, if you're following the rules, you probably would not hit another person. Okay, those are good school rules or you wouldn't be running in a classroom. Okay, and at home, um, we can be a good citizen by um, following our house rules. So some of you might have rules like you can't go outside unless you ask a parent um, before you leave or a person, a grown up in charge. So that would be being a good citizen by following those rules. Um, maybe you could help others in your family, such as mom, maybe she could use help when it comes to cleaning up the table. Um, or maybe we have our own rules, like we have to make our bed or clean up our things. Okay, so 
We can be good citizens at home and at school and in our community by being responsible and following our rules.